And if there's one thing I like to play, it's racing games. So today we're playing Human Grand Prix, the new generation on Nintendo 64. Let's check it out. I'm, I've bought the game recently, never actually got a chance to sit down and play it. So this will be my organic reaction to this game. We have like a little, it's like a little animation right here, like an introduction. We got a mixture of uh, 2D animation and an actual 3D car models, which is actually pretty cool. Hey, look at that. Check this out. Here are the awesome car sound effects. Human Grand Prix, the new generation. Human Grand Prix, the new generation. Got the title screen right there, looks pretty cool. Warning, what the hell? All right, so we have Human Grand Prix, Grand Prix, the, the new generation that is. And uh, see where we have World Grand Prix mode, battle mode, time attack, contract, rename, record, config. Well, I guess we're going to try Human Grand Prix. Put GPE, Game of Blues the Empire. All right, so uh, we're gonna be choosing a vehicle. We have various different drivers. It almost looks like Michael J. Fox. Now uh, you can see the the, uh, the models of the vehicle down there on the bottom left hand side. It actually looks pretty good. All right, let's choose a vehicle here. I mean, that's a pretty cool looking vehicle. Let's choose that. Round one. So, what is this, a fighting game? We're in Australia. go to the race. I guess you can play the qualifying portion of it if you want. You can configure your vehicle, you can do all that stuff. It's actually pretty cool. So semi-automatic. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, let's uh, play. We're gonna play something. Human Grand Prix, the new generation. Or actually, inside the game right here. Get all that crap off the screen. Yeah, that, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Oh my god. This is like the closest thing to uh, Gran Turismo that you can actually get on Nintendo 64. I must say the sound effects are actually not bad, they're actually pretty good. You can hear the tires screeching. You can hear the, uh, the motors of the, uh, the vehicles that are up ahead. Got the uh, little uh, advertisements on the side right there, you can see all the advertisements. Oh no, I almost ran into the wall. Now I, I have a... An F1 racing game similar to this on Sega Saturn. I'll have to check that out sometime. That game is actually a nice hidden gem on the uh, Sega Saturn as well. It's actually pretty good. This game is, uh, the controls are pretty loose. So I wouldn't quite call it a simulator. It seems like more arcade style. Oh, did I go into the pit stop? Damn it. Alright, now I'm being sent right back out. Take it easy. That was an accidental pit stop. 
Well, that's a pretty cool mode right there, uh, view. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. You can see the tires moving back and forth. All right, let's see if we can get our vehicle under control. See, I'm not the greatest at this game, but it's actually my first time playing, and it's actually okay. It's not bad. And for a racing game, it's, it's okay. Have some cigarette advertisements on the side wall. Formula. Advertisements. Uh, what, what else do we have for advertisements? Second, I thought that was Coca-Cola, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I'm not sure. All right, we have actually caught up. What? Oh no, 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 no! I don't want to go to the pit stop again. Damn it! And you can see right there, they gave me new tires. That's actually pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of Daytona USA, Daytona USA, where you can actually go through the pit stop and you can see all the, the guys putting new tires on your vehicle. This game sort of handles like Daytona USA to a certain extent. It's kind of loose, kind of like that. And it's definitely not, doesn't feel simulation style. Alright, so I know that I'm in the last place. <laughs> As you can see there, 21st place. Let's see, we're trying to catch up. Now we're in 20th place. At least I'm not the complete loser. Not again! Oh, man, I'm pissed off. I can't believe I did it again. Alright, we're back on the track. I keep going through the pit stop. And that happens to me like three times already, I think. Maybe four times. I heard I got pissed off. So there's not too many times I shout at my, the game I'm playing, but this one pissed me off. Alright, let's see if we can catch up. Alright, we have our opponent up ahead right here. Oh no, he passed me! Let's see if we can uh, get past this guy right here and try to win. We're definitely not going to win, but at least uh, I don't want to come in the last place. I don't want to be the loser. But, you know, it's going to probably happen. Get out of my way. Everybody get out of my way. Oh, no, not again. Oh, I almost went to the pit stop again. That was close. Got transports. Okay, so... Look at all the Marlboro ads. I think that's Marlboro cigarettes, I think. I mean, that's what I'm seeing on the TV. I could be reading that wrong. I wonder if these are, like, fake ads. So one of them almost, almost kind of looks like a Coca-Cola logo, but it's not. I mean, that looks like a Coca-Cola logo, but... I don't know. I don't know if that thing is actually a real thing, whatever that is, that they're advertising. And this guy that came right past me, you see his vehicle's like smoking. It looks like we're racing in the rain now. It looks like rain. Oh no, I drove into the sand. Man, I need to keep my momentum going. So 
there's a uh, five out of ten of that. So it's a pretty decently. Oh, not again! Son of a bitch! Ay, ay. I can't believe it. Alright, we're back out here, and the one guy passed me out here. We're in 12th place. Uh, I think that was like the fourth time I went to the pit stop. That pit stop always gets me for some reason, I don't know why. I'm an, I'm an amateur at this game. I try to take a shortcut through the pit stop, and this never works out for me. All right, we're coming in ninth place so far. And we got like a, quite a few more laps to go here. I'm trying to drive okay so that I don't end up messing up. Like right there, almost went to the side of the wall. It looks like there's a lot of vehicles. Oh my god. Oh no, no, not the pit stop again. That pit stop's so easy to drive into by accident. Let's get around right the corner here. Oh! So this game's actually not bad. It's actually, once you get used to it, it's actually pretty good. And again, it does take some getting used to. So if you race at least one race on it, like what I'm doing here, this is actually the first race that I actually did. Uh, you'll get used to the controls and how the game plays out. And the mechanics on the game, there's quite a bit of stuff in this game. I think that this might be the Japanese copy of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese copy. I bought a whole bunch of N64 games from Japan a while ago, and this is probably one of the games that was included with the batch. No, 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 no not the piss stop. Oh, that was so close. So we got 10 laps that we have to complete, and we're at lap number 8. We just completed. Oh, actually, lap 7. We're on lap 8 right now. Oh, I almost crashed into that car. It appears that when I drive by, I've been seeing a lot of vehicles that look like they're disabled or there's something wrong with them. I don't know. They're just not going anywhere. I wonder if they got damage. So you have to be like, real careful when you try because you might collide with those vehicles. Cause a huge accident. Uh, I'm wondering if there's damage in this game. I'm guessing that there is. Uh, we started off with, with, I think, 20 opponents that were racing, and now we only have 12. So I guess there might be 8 vehicles that no longer are able to race. Maybe they got damaged, maybe they, uh, something happened to them, I, I don't know what. So I'm in 3rd place right now, that's actually quite impressive, considering that... NOT AGAIN! The fuel is full. I don't need anything in here. Just leave me alone. Holy crap. Now I'm in fourth place. I need to catch up and try to, you know, make things work out here. No, I drove into the sand. I think there's a vehicle right up ahead here. Yeah, I, I kind of see the vehicle up ahead a little bit. I don't know that was, maybe, oh, here he is. Let's see if I can pass this vehicle out. Oh, we have a couple more laps to go. And at least going in third place. Uh, yeah, this game is actually pretty good. It has a 
pretty nice frame rate on it too. I think it might be running at 60 frames per second. I mean, it runs pretty well. No, 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 no. I almost went to the pit stop again. Oh my god. And we're on the last lap right here. This is everything or nothing. Let's see if we can actually win. We have to pass this car out. Oh no. There's actually a Netflix, there's actually like a a TV show or like a little documentary thing on these these type of uh, race car drivers, the F1 racing vehicles. And, uh, I was curious to watch it. I've, I've not seen it yet, but it actually looks pretty cool. And, uh, I guess these type of races are quite dangerous. According to the preview that I watched. So let's see if we can come in first place. We're in second right now. That's actually quite impressive. I came in second place so far. No, there's, uh, he's catching up to me. I can hear him. Oh yeah, I think we're coming in second. Which is better than whatever I, I was in before. That's actually quite impressive. So yeah, that was about 16 minutes of uh, gameplay footage right there. Cuban Grand Prix: The New Generation for Nintendo 64. Look at the the nice graphics. I know that there, there is a few NASCAR games on 64. I've never played this game before. This is actually, uh, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Would I play it again? I have a lot of games. Uh, I would probably maybe play it every once in a while, maybe. I would just... It's unlikely that I'm going to play it every single day. Uh, the game does have secret advertisements in it. That's pretty interesting. You probably won't see that nowadays. And yeah, what a... Pretty awesome racing game for 64. So, if you enjoyed this episode of High Fidelity Gameplay, if you enjoyed Nintendo 64, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what your favorite racing game is on Nintendo 64. And enjoy the awesome winter music. <laughs>